Hello everyone. This is my um, basil and I wanted to show you how I grow mine. Um, I just take off the big ones and I put them in a bowl of water. And you wanna leave the new shoots that are coming up and the ones that aren't doing so well, um, you can take them off. But the good ones you wanna keep. So again, just take off your big ones, snap them off with your fingernail. And leave the other ones to keep growing. So I got a couple big ones up here that I'm gonna take. And if you get the little ones too, I mean, they're just as good in spaghetti sauce too. And what I do with these, <clears throat> I could use them this day, today, or I can rinse them, dry them out a little bit so they're not sopping wet, and then I could freeze them and they'll come out just as fresh as you see them. Okay, so now I have all my bay leaves in here, as you can see, and I'm wishing them around really good. So I don't have any parasite spray on them or anything. I have a little um, uh, room that I keep them in. And um, I'm gonna lay them up here for a minute to uh, get some air and kind of dry them off. And then I'm gonna put them in a Ziploc freezer bag. Dry them off a little bit. And if I use them, you know, the same day, then, um, or I make a pesto, a homemade pesto, how can you be fresh? I mean, how can you be fresh? So I just stick them in my bag, my Ziploc bag. And when I want them for the meal that I'm making, I have fresh basil. And they freeze really nice and, um, they don't come out whole because when they get frozen, they'll they'll snap and break, but it's okay because they're still fresh. So shake them down, take the air out. And then freeze. And they'll come out just like that. This is my rosemary. Very it's very, very soft leaves. And I just take a couple that I need. So I'll just brush up on it a little bit and make sure they stay healthy and make sure they have plenty of water because you don't want them drying out because then they're not as fresh as um, you wanted them to be. But you can come right in here and you can break off about that much. Can you see? About that much. Usually on this one, you should use scissors, but I'm just gonna snap it off. So I have a nice long stem. I'm gonna put it in my bowl of water. This one's a tougher one. And I'll take a little piece off of this. So if I don't wanna use a lot of rosemary, um, I could put the whole branch in a meal, you know, in my pot and then just take it out when it's done cooking. But um, I love it on um, chicken and uh, in my sauces and stuff. It's really got a nice flavor to it, um, but you don't want to add too much. So always a little branch is perfect. So again, you're gonna rinse these off. Shake them good in the water first. Get all rid of anything that you think might be a baby spider or something. and then put them right on your towel. Let them dry for a minute or two, and then do the same thing as you did the basil. All right, I'm back. So, again, this is my fresh basil. It's not frozen yet, it's fresh. Cleaned, patted, dried, and sealed all the air out and ready for the freezer. I do the same thing for my rosemary, and I will put their names on it. Just easier when they're frozen. So when you freeze them, I have a lot in my freezer. So this is my dill. As you froze it, that's how it comes out. It's um, thawing out outside, so that's why you see the little bit of smoke in there, the uh, frost. But I just 
pinch out my dill when I need it. That's frozen. And this is my basil. You see it's frozen. And you can let it thaw out and it will come out a whole leaf. But you can see you got little pieces too because it's been being frozen. But it, it works great. Saves you a lot of money by freezing it. This is my cilantro. I do the same thing for that. And this is my parsley. And um, as you can see, it's already thawing out outside. I'm outside, so. Anyway, isn't that beautiful? And that's fresh. You, you just, to save a bundle of money, um, instead of you buying the herbs and then going bad and, you know, um, losing your money, you can always freeze it. I freeze every single thing. I do carrots, celery, um, bell peppers and onions. Um, you name it, I do it. And this is my fresh um, dill here. And I've already picked at it, as you can tell. So I'm giving it a little break and then let it keep blooming and, and I'll do it again. Thank you for watching.